Okay, let's finish off, uh, for lack of a better term, what I'm just going to call the primary planes of, uh, of our robot. And again, I'll just start with uh, one of our polygons here. Just going to throw that over there, then uh, reverse it around, and kind of give it a different size and tilt for the other side. Nothing drastic, just uh, maybe like 90% smaller. And yet again, let's uh, just sample that color, the tint. These um, these old boxes underneath now don't make as much sense as they are, but uh, you can always kind of conform them a little bit to what we're adding in here. And that'll be a lot of, I mean, that kind of bleeds into some stuff we'll be doing later as well just kind of extruding out these shapes but if you if you don't want to see them looking so crazy right now you can just give them a quick little fix uh, let's see something like that And let's do this. We uh, take that same shape and just going to tint it to be the color of our first little layer of this uh, exoskeleton silhouette. And uh, let's go ahead and add a square in here. Just to indicate a little dip down right here. And then I'm going to take this same shape, I'm kind of using this one a lot, but I think it's okay. And then I'm going to extend that out. to kind of make it seem like he's got this meaty calf muscle. Might make it a little bit, there we go, something more like that. And again, if you just kind of want to trim this up a little bit you can uh, what could look kind of cool here would be let's grab this polygon and let's actually sort of use it like a, a little bit like a wheel I'm going to tint it to be that same color. Then I'm going to come over here, make it this color, put that behind. There we go. That. And then let's go ahead and grab this shape. And we can just show how this might um, arc down or kind of bend down with the, this polygon. And you know, probably the easiest way to do this is to let me get these in first, and I'll just put those shapes over top. Just something like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect for right now because it sure isn't perfect. But just so you kind of get the idea. Maybe I'll leave that tinted like that. And that 
This one becomes a little unnecessary, I guess. Uh, it looks like the whole thing could probably stand to be tilted a bit out this way. And let's see if we can repeat this over here. On the flip side, what I'll do is squeeze it together and uh, kind of just skew it out a little bit like that. And then let's just adjust these colors. Uh, let's go a little lighter, maybe, um, yeah, something like that. Okay, and the big old boot down here. Let's try something like this. Let's duplicate this shape. And I'm gonna bring this in a little bit using the distort tool. Gonna tint this a little darker. And then I'm gonna duplicate this guy again. And probably just easier to not worry about distorting this, just go in and change the shapes itself. Go ahead and bring this back to a lighter color. And then we'll do one more plane down here at the bottom. Actually, I might, so it doesn't look so kind of duck build. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do is just give this a little bit of a. Well, oh, maybe it looks more like a duck build now. I don't know, but. Uh, something like that and again we can of course fix this at a later time uh, something else fun you could try would be let's grab well, we can keep using the same shape for now Let's take this Just gonna put that inside of there and let's take this shape I'll tint that as well let's add a bit smaller so we're gonna merge those two together visually not actually merging them together and then let's take these two shapes copy them again do something like this and I'll just shrink them down about 95 percent I'll reverse their colors so you get so it might seem a little bit like this one is tilted down and this one's tilted up something like that and um, yeah it's looking okay let me duplicate this shape and I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger up here at the top something like that and I do kinda feel like we could use an extra fold down here let's see yeah, I think that's about, I think that's a little better. So I'm just going to break these apart and uh, get rid of that.
Okay, let's see if we can uh, simply duplicate this, reverse it, and let's tilt some of it like that. The foot we might have to adjust a lot, but we might be able to get away with uh, doing this. Let's just grab this, this, and this. Move that over here. Move that that way. And then, yeah, like I said, probably would need to now take this out like so. So just moving these points over here. And then finally take that and move that up there. Okay, so that uh, I think that gives you the impression of what's going on. Probably pull that back. This would be a different. This would be a totally different plane anyway. I don't even feel like. Probably there we go. Okay, let's uh, get these. Tinted something a little bit more like that. That might not be totally right, but uh We'll go with it for now. Yeah, I think that's looking okay. Let me uh, just view this as a wireframe. I'm just going to touch this up real quick. It is bothering me some. Okay, and what else we got to do? Well, let's just grab a square, and I'll put this over top here. Let's uh, just do the top plane of these little spiky things here, which is obviously pretty simple because you can just get away with something like that. Did I not do one over there? I guess maybe I didn't. Okay. Definitely got a lot of touch up work to do with um, even just getting this back exoskeleton, our first layer of it, to kind of conform with uh, some of our primary planes here. But um, 
I think as far as first impressions go, it's um, it's definitely impressing me. I'll just worry about the the hands at a later time. I think we've seen enough of what to do here at this stage. Okay, back for more.